For more videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Make sure to tune in to our next video, DC Machine Design Part 7. Problems on Selection of Number of Poles A 250 kilowatt, 500 volt, 600 rpm, 6 pole DC generator is built with an armature diameter of 0.75 meter and core length of 0.3 meter. The lap connected armature has 720 conductors. Determine diameter, core length, number of slots, armature conductors and commutator segments for a 350 kilowatt, 440 volt, 720 rpm, 6 pole DC generator assume square pole phase. Pole ARC to pole pitch is 0.66. Efficiency is 0.91. Internal voltage drop is 4% of rated voltage. We have two machines in this problem. Generator 1 and Generator 2. At first write down the parameters given for each machines. For square pole phase we know at L equals pole arc. L equals psi into pole pitch. Given psi equals 0.66 and we know pole pitch is pi d by p. Then for first machine find the armature power by dividing output power with efficiency. Then find C0 using power equation. Write the EMF equation then. Substitute for phi from equation of B of E. Then name it as equation 1. We know other equation for EMF here. Name it as number 2. Equate both numbered equations. We will get B of E from it. If the video is fast. You can pause it and calculate it on your own and check the answer. You can do it easily because all other parameters are given. You should just have to substitute it. Then for machine 2, find power using same way as machine 1. Also find D and L as given below. Then find flux and number of conductors from equation of B of E and equation of EMF respectively. Then we have to find the number of slots. This is the main objective of this video. When finding number of slots take the first consideration. That is, slot pitch should lie in between 25 to 35 mm. Slot pitch is pi d by s. Where s is the number of slots. Giving pi d by s as 25 and 35 we will get s as 103 and 73. That is the range of s. Then the second consideration while selecting number of slot is slot per pole should lie between 9 to 16. When it is 9 we will get slot as 54 when it is 16 slot is 96. From A we got 73 to 103. From B we get 54 to 96. The common region for both ranges is marked as green that is from 73 to 96. From now on take that as range. Then the third consideration is number of slots should be multiple of pole pair. Pole is 6. Pole pair is 3. Then check for multiple of 3 from 73 to 96. These are the new values for slot. Check fourth condition. Find slot per pole of these numbers by dividing these by 6. Then chose from these the numbers those can be written as integer plus half. Then we finally got 4 numbers. 75. 81. 87. 93. Then check the final condition. Slot per pole shoe should be integer plus half. Slot per pole shoe is psi into slot per pole. Find psi into slot per pole for these four values. When finding for 87 we will get an integer plus half. So finally we got the slot as 87. Then find number of conductors per slots like this. We will get it as 6. Then to find actual number of conductors, multiply it by 87.